Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this part 20 of the building of a doll's house. First of all, I'm dealing with the staircase and I decided to paint the spindles in a black color. Let's speed it up a bit. There you are, the staircase spindles are black and we leave it to dry for now. Now I will go to the conversion of the LED lamps. They were the Chinese lamps with the three volt battery. It's a bit hard to open, <laughs> but this is how they come. They are meant to be used with a battery, a little cell, three volts, in the foot of the chandelier. Then it's hanged with a magnet to the ceiling. That of course you can do when you don't have wires. Here I show how I put in the little battery cell and I turn loose the shades of the chandelier. But there are two things I do not like. First of all I do not like the little cells and second I do not like the color of the LED. It's way too blue. I want the LEDs to run on the 12 volt power supply like the other lamps and that means that I have to solder some wires and put in between some resistors or else the LED will blow. So it's easy to unscrew the foot of the chandelier and the shades of the chandelier. They both can be screwed off. And I will show how you do that. But first I show the resistor, the dummy resistors and a diode. To get a better yellow color I tried a yellow heat shrink tubing and I tried some transparent paint, lacquer, transparent lacquer. I wanted a, an amber sort of color so I mixed these three to get that color. That actually was not very difficult but the result was not to my liking. And here I show the little bottles with transparent paint. As you can see it was a bit better, but it was still not what it should be. So I decided to exchange the lead and I ordered uh, more warm light LEDs, 3 mm. So I cut off the blue LED and here I solder the new LED. Of course I cut the wires to length and a bit of uh, flux and then I will solder the leads together. I hold the 
lead and the armature in place with two little uh, vices because uh, it is impossible to solder otherwise. Of course we test it and it is a success. It looks great. So I'm screwing back the shades and the foot of the chandelier and here we have the result. At the right the original and left the one with the warm light. Again right the warm white light and left the original bluish daylight LED. And I'm quite pleased with the result. Thank you for watching and see you in part 21.